All of this news has our local leaders talking a lot about masks. Wearing one is now necessary, if not the law in most places, as we all work together to try to contain this virus. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital with more on these alarming trends. Ty. Well, Lauren and Elliot, infectious disease experts all agree tonight that the trend that we are on is not a good one. They've been looking over numbers and they show that testing has increased, which is good. However, those same numbers also show the virus is spreading more now than compared to a month ago. And that right there is alarming. Numbers show an uptick in cases in Miami-Dade. The red line is the goal of having no more than 10% of COVID-19 cases test positive a day. The most recent day saw 25%, which is well above the goal. It's also above the blue line, which shows the 14-day average at 12%. That's not a good trend, and that's a clear indicator that what's going on with our numbers is not just because of testing, it's truly an increase in the percent of people who are becoming infected. Dr. Eileen Marty with Florida International University says at the start of the month, the average rate was about 5% of tests coming back positive. Researchers are not only seeing a bigger percentage, but a younger age group too. We've seen young people get sick. And in Miami-Dade, a very significant portion of our COVID positive cases have been in children, people 18 years and younger, making up as much as 7% of our positive cases. Chopper 4 was overhead Hard Rock Stadium's testing site Tuesday. The line was so long, officials ended up turning away drivers who tried to wait after a cutoff point. It's a sign of increased testing, but it also may show how more people are feeling sick. Wherever there is overcrowding, uh, wherever there are people who are more, I mean, more population density, and when people don't follow the rules, this happens. Dr. Dushyanta Jayawira is with University of Miami. He says researchers expected a surge in the fall, but since the economy opened earlier than proposed, the uptick came sooner. I mean, we were expecting a spike in the, uh, the fall in September uh, with the, when the winter starts coming in. Those numbers are a reflection of people contracting the virus about two weeks ago or more. And since there is now tougher enforcement, doctors hope to see a steady decrease two weeks from now. And that may help first responders and doctors at hospitals who have been seeing an uptick in sick people. And doctors want you, your friends, your family to make sure you're wearing your facial coverings correctly, covering your nose and mouth. And this is a message from the county mayor. He wants you to help out if you see any violations at any shops, at any restaurants. The number to call 305-4-POLICE. We are live tonight in the city of Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight. Ty, thank you.